Hi everyone, this is Sir John from Kenta Senior High School. Welcome to our lesson today about the chain rule. Let's start. At the end of the lesson, the learner should be able to illustrate the chain rule of differentiation. So, what is chain rule? The chain rule. If f and g are both differentiable and f equals f, Compose of g is the composite function defined by f of x equals f of g of x, then f is differentiable, and f prime is given by the product f prime of x equals f prime of g of x times g prime of x. In simple words, the derivative of a composition of functions is the derivative of the outer function evaluated at the inner function times the derivative of the inner function. Okay, let's have example number one. Find the derivative of the function or f prime of x using the chain rule. And we're given the function to be 3x squared minus 2x plus 4 raised to a power of 2. Okay? Again, in simple words, what is chain rule? It is the product of the derivative of the outer function times the derivative of the inner function. So in this case, our, our outer function, we can use the power rule to get this. And that is 2 times 3x squared minus 2x plus 4 raised to 2 minus 1, 3n minus 1, times the derivative of the inner. This is our inner function. Okay, So we have the derivative of 3x squared, that is 6x. The derivative of negative 2x, that is minus 2. The derivative of a constant is 0. So 2 minus 1 is 1. And then distributive property, 2 times 3x squared is 6x squared. 2 times negative 2x is negative 4x. 2 times 4 is 8. Then copy this one, 6x minus 2. And by saying distributive property, 6x squared times 6x, 6x squared times negative 2, plus negative 4x times 6x, etc., etc., it will give us the final answer 36x cubed minus 36x squared plus 56x minus 16. That, are, that is our answer. Okay? Example number two. We have y equals sine 2x. Find y prime using the chain rule. So our outer is this. The derivative of the outer is cosine 2x. Mm. Okay? And the derivative of the inner, 2x. The derivative of 2x is 2. So it's simply 2 times cosine 2x. This is our answer. Example number 3. Find the derivative of the function using the chain rule. And this is our function to be given or given to be 2 over x squared plus 1 power 2. So first thing first, we change this one since it's in the denominator. Let's move it up but change the, the exponent to negative. From positive 2 become negative 2. I did it simply because I will use the power rule. The power rule says the, the exponent multiplied by your constant, like this, no? the constant times the power, negative 2, x squared plus 1 raised to a power n minus 1, okay? times the derivative of the inner function. What's the derivative of x squared? That is 2x. Derivative 1, that is 0. You don't need to write it. Okay, so 2 times negative 2 is negative 4 x squared plus 1 power negative 3. Negative 2 minus 1 is negative 3 times 2x. So now, um, negative 4 times 2x is negative 8x. Negative 4 times 2x is negative 8x. And this one, okay, we bring this down to the denominator simply because we want our negative exponent to become positive. So this is our final answer. Example number 4. We have y equals the sine 3x raised to a power 2, find y prime using the chain rule. Okay? Our outer, we use the power rule. How to find the derivative of the outer function? So that is 2 times sine 3x raised to n minus 1, 2 minus 1, times the inner function, which is sine 3x. Derivative of the inner function is cosine 3x. Again, times the inner function, which is 3x. What's the derivative of 3x? That is 3. So we have 3 times 2 is 6. 2 minus 1 is 1. So sine 3x raised to 1. You don't have to write 1. So sine 3x, cosine 3x. 
And that is our final answer. Sample number five, find the derivative of the function y equals to root x squared minus one using the chain rule. So again, this is in radical form, change it into an exponential form, okay? Root will become a power of one half. So power rule, two times one half, two times one half, times x squared minus one, and then raised to a one half minus one, n minus one. So two times one half is one, okay? Times x squared minus one, one half minus one is negative one half, times the inner function, Derivative of the inner function is 2x. Okay, 2x because derivative of x squared is 2x. Derivative of negative 1 is 0. So now, we have 2x, the negative exponent, change to a positive exponent, bring it down to the denominator, that will give you a power positive 1 half. And then, uh, let's rewrite again. This term into radical form will give you 2x over root x squared minus 1. This is our final answer. So for the bonus question, we have find y prime, where y is equal to e to the sine 2x, using the chain rule. Okay, y prime equals derivative of the outer. That's our outer function. Derivative of the outer times derivative of the inner. This is our inner. Okay, times again derivative of the inner because we still have to we still, we still have 2x, so derivative of 2x. Now, derivative of e to the sine 2x remains the same, e sine 2x. Derivative of sine 2x is cosine 2x. Derivative of 2x is 2. And then, you just need to rewrite your, your answer. It will become 2 times e to the sine 2x times cosine 2x. And that is our final answer. So, I hope, guys, you learned from this lesson. And good luck to your next lesson. Um, thank you for watching. God bless you all. Bye.